Carrie-Anne here, back in my studio, and lately Skype have given me access to interview some of their female developers. And in particular, I spoke to the wonderful Kinney, who develops the Skype app for Android devices. Here's her interview. <laughs> So hi, my name is Kine Kamara and I'm a software development engineer on the Android team at Skype. So, wow, it sounds like a lot of fun. So would you yeah. um, class yourself as um, a developer or a kind of programmer? Like, How would you identify what it is that you do? Yeah, I would say 80% of my time is spent writing code, so I'm definitely a software developer. Um, and uh, yeah, I would say about 20% is then in spending in meetings and defining architecture, and but most of it is is writing code. So, and so, how long have you been doing that for? Um, I graduated from college in two thousand and five, uh, and I started working in two thousand six, and and I've been doing it since. So, uh, about eight years. And oh, is it? You're is it in Sorry. at Skype. <laughs> And so is like programming something that you, you've always been interested in? Like what's what's kind of your journey? So you kind of, were you doing it at university? Yeah, I grew up in, in Senegal, which is a West African country, very quiet. And we, I had no idea what programming was until I got to college. And I had my first computer um, class in, in my first semester in, in university. And that's when I decided to do, to do software. So right. I would say... Excellent. Uh, I was probably 18 when I when I realized I was interested in in writing code. So, so what took you to university? What were your passions, um, kind of in school when you were a child that kind of took you um, towards yeah. that? Well, yeah, when I was a kid, I, I enjoyed science. That's probably the only thing I was actually good at when I was in 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 high school and stuff. So it kind of made sense for my my parents to push me into going into engineering. And so um, they recommended an engineering school. I had no idea what I wanted to major in. But once I got to university and had the computer science class, I was like, okay, that's it. This is what I want to do. So um, what, what things sort of interest you about the field that you're working at the moment? Yeah, well, right now I, I decided to, I've always been interested in working with mobile techno technology since I graduated. So um, I started my first um, um, mobile project. Uh, my last semester of university, my bachelor's, I was uh, just like uh, involved with two friends and we participated in a developer challenge and we decided that, uh, well, I personally decided that mobile technologies were, were interesting to me. I decided to focus on Android the past four years, I would say, because it was, uh, it was to me, it's more in interesting. It's the platform that evolves the fastest and uh, changes a lot more than the others. So I, I thought it was, it was more, there were more challenges with, with Android. So I, yeah. So now I'm, I'm officially an Android software engineer. Wow. So do yeah. you have like a little um, Android alien? I've got a little, um, like a plushy <laughs> Android. <laughs> a lot of them. I have a lot of them, actually, the, the small <laughs> Android robots, yeah. I have a few of them at, at home and and a lot of stickers, Android stickers. And all I, want, I want the hat, you know, the hat. The guy. Yeah, the hat is pretty <laughs> cool. There's actually one guy I saw in uh, at Google I.O. this year. He was wearing the full body costume. Wow. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I'm an Android nerd, but not that much. It was hilarious, really. So, yeah. so what was Google I.O. like? I, I mean, I've never been. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. A lot of people, a lot of crowds everywhere, so it's kind of difficult to to move around. Um, but the 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 fact that it's two days of like just Android content and you know short short discussions, but but long enough for you to to, to understand what the platform is going, what what the evolution is going to be with the new version Lollipop this year, and uh, it was pretty cool. You get cool gifts and and a lot of uh, you meet a lot of interesting people. And um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was awesome. Right. Actually, this, it's funny this year they encourage women to come. So, um, That's great. Yeah. So um, that brings me really nicely to kind of my next question. You know, I'm really passionate about women in um, technology. Um, I work for Raspberry Pi, and I'm, I'm just right. one of a few women um, here at Raspberry Pi. Um, and sort of in the UK, only sort of 16% 
of um, tech people are female. So I wondered, what are your experiences about where you work? Are there lots of women you work with or just a handful? Or, and do you, do you think there are any reasons for, for the kind of disparity, if there is one? Yeah. Um, well, at the Android team at Skype, um, there, are, there are a lot of women, but I am the only one that's actively writing code on the team. And the team is about uh, 15, 12, 15 developers. So, um, I, I, in my experience, I think the, the most women I've seen on a team was about 30%. And it was at Nokia a few years ago. Right. Um, but here, yeah, I haven't seen a lot on the Android team. But, I mean, we're, we're, we welcome, we're welcome to, to have more women join the team. You know, we actually interviewed um, two women recently. And one of them we're actually very, we were actually very interested in. So, hopefully, uh, we could get her on board. But yeah, I think the disparity is, is due to the fact that, you know, I don't think we encourage women to get into tech fields that much. It's not really cool. You know, it's not really, um, you know, the pretty thing to do. You know, we, 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 we teach girls to like, like uh, princesses and, you know, become mm -hmm. fashion models and stuff. And it's like from the very young age. And I think that's what, what happens where when we grow up, we're just not that interested in being in tech because, you know, we don't want to be a tomboy or we don't want, you know. So, but hopefully that will change. I think it, it, we're getting there now. And hopefully in the, in the next few years, we'll be able to get more more girls to, to get involved in tech. And that's, that's the hope, I'd say. So, yeah. So, um do you know of kind of any initiatives or any kind of programs that maybe like a kind of 14 year old version of you, if you could speak to that per to person and say, um, oh, you should really get in involved in this science program or you should really get involved in this kind of um, hour of code activity. Or can you think of anything um, right now that's going on that you think that young teenage girls would be interested in doing or could yeah. find out more about the industry? Yeah, I think there are a lot of like initiatives like this. Even even in uh, in Microsoft, there's actually I received an email I think yesterday about something like that where they asked they asked the people to to uh, speak at schools and you know you would you would basically have a Skype call with schools every every thirty every I think two two Skype calls every week or something like that or. Uh, I've heard of, uh, you know, here we, in, in San Francisco, they have women we co who code, but there, there are a lot of them all over the world, I think, in a bunch of cities. Um, you know, you, I think there are a lot of initiatives like this to, to get young girls to, to, to be more interested in, in, in writing code and stuff. But I don't know if we're probably doing enough. I personally know that I, I, I don't think I am, and uh, I would probably try to get more involved in these things. Great. So, yeah. You have Excellent. one recommendation that you can make for everybody? Since oh, you're gosh. so involved in <laughs> There's lots. Of, I mean, Raspberry Jams are a great way. So um, all over the world, um, all over, yeah, everywhere. Include, there's some in San Francisco as well where people who are um, really interested in using Raspberry Pis, so they could be children or adults or, you know, parents with children or... They will just yeah. get together in a space and they all kind of hack on their Raspberry Pis and they make cool projects or they learn a little bit about programming and they kind of learn from each other and run okay. workshops. So they're really good, good fun. Okay. And there are two in San Francisco. So okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sending you towards them. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Do that. <laughs> okay. So my last two questions are kind of just yeah. personal questions, like what are your likes and things? So, you know, what are your kind of favorite websites or games or, you know, when you have downtime, what's your the kind of stuff that you like to do? Yeah, well, I am definitely a homebody, so I like uh, to watch TV series and stuff. Um, and and I, I like being active as well, so I, I, you know, try to play basketball a little bit, you know, hike and and just, you know, I enjoy good food, so go to restaurants and, and I don't know, I try to, I try to be, be, be active, but also um, be able to enjoy being home and not doing, not doing a lot. <laughs> Relax, yeah. relaxing the brain. <laughs> What's your favorite TV program at the moment? <laughs> um, at the moment, I don't know. I watch a lot of TV series. The last one I really enjoyed was actually Orange is the New Black. I don't yeah, know yeah, good choice. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the last one I, I was watching. I binge watched on, on Netflix the, the past few months, so it was pretty awesome. That's good. I like that too. <laughs> and my last question, um, what future tech development kind of most excites you? 
Um, well, in my field, definitely anything related to Android. I think there is a, a lot of future with, with wearables, and uh, hopefully we can we can get to to porting Skype on, on a lot more wearables. Right now, we're we're working on on smartwatches and stuff, but I think there's a there's a lot of future with Android and and, and Android in cars. And so, as a, as an Android nerd, definitely anything related to Android and seeing how the platform evolves and and how much more fun it's going to be for us, the developers. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing oh, this. Oh, thank you. It's been I'm a pleasure talking to you. Some time out for this. It's I'll, really I'll, kind of I'll follow you on Twitter. I don't, I don't use Twitter much, but I'll start following you. <laughs>